you know, I have that face open, that right hand on top. And I just pop right over his head. Ooh, that was a good one too. Really saucy. Yeah, what I'm always looking for um, with my players here, when, my, when we're setting up around the short game area, I make those variety of shots, and I'm just making sure that they have to do the absolute least over the golf ball to hit it well, presetting as much as possible in the impact position in the setup. Man, I haven't had that wedge in my hand in a minute, dude. Here we go, ready? Little closest to. Just trying to do the least, right? Yep. Get that thing, get that thing set more like this, bud. Wait forward, ball just yeah, right there. Uh, open up your feet a little bit. You're aimed a little bit right. There you go. Boom. I love that shot right there, right? Keep it as simple as possible. Hit a couple shorties from here. Right here. Let's go like to this super, super short sided one. You knew he was going to show up with something like that, too. Did... Oh, 100%. Oh my God. It's every day. So, well, watch this. Get that right hand on top of the club. Get that face open, then take the grip. And watch, watch when it lands. Watch what happens here. Look at this thing. Oh. See how soft that ball lands right there? Mm -hmm. That's all right hand on top of the golf club. It reduces the face rotation through impact and allows you to keep it open. Then all you gotta do is just rotate. Watch this thing. Thump. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Yeah. No, it's, it's, and that's the same thing in the bunker. You know, people don't understand this and this is, this is really important. Check us out, guys. So when you get the right hand on top and the face is open, it can't get any more on top. <laughs> so what does it do? It stays open. Yeah. So, you know, if I'm going right over Gabe, you know, I have that face open, that right hand on top, and I just pop it right over his head. Ooh, that was a good one too. Really saucy. So the big thing about it is, you know, if I have something in front of me that I need to be going over, or I need to get the land real soft on the other side, get that face open, take that grip with that right hand on top, and then just rotate. I mean, how clipped was that, huh? Beautiful, beautiful. All right, well, right over my head, right to this pin right here. Hit it nice, but let's see it kind of get a little more arc to it. Yeah, keep it up. I want to see it just to keep doing a good job there. Get, get your feel. Appreciate the trust, Gabe. Not even hesitating, by the way, where you were when I went over you. Yeah, and see, here's the thing. That's kind of where I have you pinned as far as your aim. Okay. Like, you, you're going, your feet go at the target, your ball goes just right of it, and then unfortunately, you know, hey, I want people to understand one thing too. This is unbelievably important. Watch this club face right here. I can aim this club face. I can aim this club face at this hole right here. But I can swing towards this hole over here and watch where the ball goes. Literally right at the hole as that thing hits the flag right there. The ball doesn't go in the direction the leading edge is pointed unless it hits the leading edge. It's going to go in the direction you're swinging. It's going to ride up the face. It'd be one thing if it was a putter and I was swinging towards the camera. Well, Will, it would go to you. It's, it's flat. There's nothing it can, it's not riding up. The whole thing is the leading edge, basically. So basically, why is it easier to hold sh shorter irons online? Not only is the sequencing easier because the golf club and you are more connected, mm -hmm. but you're putting more underspin on it. Yeah. Ball is going more in the direction you're swinging as opposed to so much of the face angle dictating so much of it mm -hmm. uh, as we see with longer irons and a flatter face. Good yep. for everybody to know that. That was really good right there, dude. 
Oh man, all right, let's get in that bunker. Hey, some of the same mentality in the bunker with the right hand on top. I like to drop those hands a little bit lower because when you drop those hands a little lower, well, you create leverage between the hands and the golf club. It stands that club up a little bit more without even having to try. Up, yeah. yeah. Set a couple over here. Mm. All right. Cool. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, hit a short side of one, then we're good. This is where you can drop the hands down a little bit lower. Love that. Right, you got it, buddy. Oh, dude, if you could have told me that you could have done that on purpose, I'd be like, nah, no. I like the way you hit that, though. I like the way you hit it. Here we go. Let's see it again. Wow. Off a slight downhill lie, too. That ball is... Nice job, buddy. All right, cool. Yeah, the first one was like just hit it. Hey, let me just go get a couple good videos of you up here, too, on the range, which is uh, just why I have them, because you're swinging so nice right now. For sure. Um, of you with, like, a seven iron. Mm -hmm. um, hey, nice job, though, bud. Thank you. You excited to go to college? Get, right, get really back into it? I'm excited right now. When are you leaving? I leave Friday. I'm going to spend a couple days with Katie on the way up. Oh, nice, Monterey. dude. His sister he's talking about. Um, Katie's, in Mon Katie's in Monterey right now. Yep. She, she, she loving it up there? Up last week. That's awesome. She's loving it. What a great place. All right, buddy. Well, I'm really proud of you, so. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.